you don't get wealthy off of hard work. And I've heard this many years ago. I understood it. But I finally understand it now. From an astrological level. The seventh house is ruled by Libra. Or if you extend the word for Libra, you get library. L-I-B-R-A-R-A. -R -A. Oh, no, R-Y. Library. I have finally understood that it doesn't matter how hard you work. If your library or your knowledge level is weak or low, you'll never be wealthy. Because I understand why the wealthy keep the middle class or the poor ignorant. Because if you have the Libra scale of knowledge plus action, you will become wealthy in any aspect of life. In any aspect of life. But if you don't have the proper knowledge and all, and this is what people, when people say hard work is the key to wealth, that's wrong. Because that's in an imbalanced scale. That's saying action is the key to wealth. Not true. Without the right information, you don't get, you don't upgrade. Action can acquire information. It's opposite. Libra. Action being Aries, right? Action can, can you can acquire information because you require you not you just that you know you know what you you get when you take action you get feedback so then you start getting uh, uh, uh information but when ty lopez used to say oh you have to read books to be rich i understand now because to truly because in a lot of ways a lot of things in this life like the bible says or phrase that old phrase says nothing is new under the sun so that means whatever most things that people are thinking of, people have done before, right? And I have finally understood that Taurus are very hardworking people, right? The concept of your second house with your personal income and the Taurian idea of you could work very hard, meaning you could work from being a janitor to being a cook to being a dishwasher to being a, a construction worker, a uh, truck driver, et cetera, et cetera. But without the right knowledge, you'll never be wealthy. Because you'll be you'll be making the same money month after month after month after month after month because of your lack of knowledge. Not because and because I don't even think most people lack action and that's true on many 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 levels before we get there i think people really don't know like i met this uber driver where we talk about money he said you know what to be honest with you i really hate the idea of money i really hate money and i was like because of, of all these he gave the excuse of what all these people all these people do with it that are that's evil. And I thought about it and I said to him, I said, our first question, and I said, what's the highest good you can do with your money? Because at the end of the day, money touches every aspect of your life. Not some areas, not one area. Money touches every area of your life. Right? So hear me out. When you say hard work is the key to wealth, I have figured out that's not true. I work my ass off and I'm not wealthy. I work my ass off. I'm not wealthy. 
because of my lack of knowledge and the implementation of the right knowledge. Because a, I think a lot of people are taking action on the wrong knowledge. I've, I've really come to that understanding. Most people are taking action on the wrong knowledge. And are ashamed. Because again, for wanting more and desiring more. But Libra, which gives which gives you the balance scale of relationships, that's a topic for another time in its fullest context. That if you 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 will get to a certain level in your riches where it's not about money, it's not about information, it's about relationships, and you soon discover that in many, many, many regards. Right? But uh uh I learned that when I was walking to, to home today, I was like, yo, you can be wealthy. No, you can love money without greed and with I, without idolatry. Because you understand that money touches every aspect of your life. And... There's nothing you can do without money. Nothing. Nothing. Everything is better when you know you have money. Right? And that's why a lot of people come to America. And I thought to myself, I, re I work really hard. But my income won't change by next month if I don't increase my knowledge base. Doesn't matter what I think. No, it doesn't matter if or it doesn't matter what I do personally, fully right now. That's a, that's one half of the equation. The other equation is knowledge. And I finally get why the Scorpio man gave me this certain knowledge that I that of access. He gave it to me because he said, you're missing something. You take the action. You just don't, you just don't have the knowledge. So it's taking you so long to acquire wealth because like I said earlier, you're applying knowledge with the wrong action. Uh, you're applying action with the wrong knowledge. That's why he told me, I can't give you no money, but I can give you this information. So you can have the right information to become wealthy and you can become obsessed about that instead of being obsessed with the wrong information. Most people are obsessed with the wrong information. And I've noticed that you have to be intelligent. Because again, then when I said m another word for money is currency, so you have to have the right knowledge to get on the current of wealth, and the and you have to raise your mental to get on the current of wealth. Because when the current comes, you may say that's not my current. That's not the current I'm supposed to get on, and it could keep showing up in your life, and you miss it. Because you said that's not your current, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I've understood you need you need to upgrade your knowledge. Because if you don't upgrade your knowledge, you'll do the same thing over and over again. And you you have to get on the right current with the uh, in the right mental plane and the right information so you can get wet with income you can have an abundance of income if not you'll get nothing you'll get nothing and you'll be working hard for the rest of your life <laughs> you'll be working smarter 
and getting to to the wealth because there are people who are smart enough to say that's my current and they hop on it and they obsess about it and they get wealthy instead of the person working 12 hours a day to make $100, $150, $200, which is good. But they don't have the right knowledge. That's what they're working 12 hours a day for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 dollars an hour. They don't have the right knowledge. And it's something that I noticed. In- income is like, no, and I finally understand what Jim Rohn said, a Libra. Income, your income is all is a reflection of your philosophy. Basically, your library. And that's why he would advertise, increase your library. Your library dictates where you go, income-wise and otherwise. But if you don't have a library, I hope... I don't expect you to be rich because you don't know what you don't know. 